Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to go over the best settings for beginner keyboard and mouse players. You may have seen a couple months ago that I made a best keybinds for beginner keyboard and mouse players, but this video is going to be focusing on more keybinds and best settings. So what I mean by settings is just the settings menu where you have like auto open doors, turbo build, all that kind of stuff because a lot of people seem to be confused in the comment section of some of my videos. They're asking me questions like, oh, why do I have to keep clicking to place my builds and everything like that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go over all my settings so that you can copy them and you can have the most optimal settings if you're a beginner keyboard and mouse player. If you guys are going to enjoy this video, please let me know with a like and subscribe. I post videos like this all the time, so if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so for our first setting, we have sprint by default. I have that turned on. The reason I have the setting on is so that you don't need to continually hold shift or control to keep sprinting. You just hold W and it does everything for you. Very, very good setting. The next setting we have is sprint cancels reloading that is turned off. Auto open doors is on, especially if you're a beginner player and it's just one last key bind that you need to press because we already know that you're probably not too used to the keyboard because maybe it's your first time playing an actual game on keyboard and mouse who knows right that's one last key bind you gotta press especially if you're trying to just open a door do whatever have that turned on so that when you walk up to a door it just opens automatically for you and you don't need to worry about pressing any more buttons and for the combat section we have hold to swap pickup we have that turned off toggle targeting is turned off this setting right here is basically when you can zoom in and ping where an enemy is so oh there's an enemy over there you can zoom in and ping just to get a more accurate location of the enemy auto pick up weapons is turned off that is a pretty weird setting for me i've never had that turned on because you know it just sometimes just swaps your guns and i don't really like that auto store consumables to the right always have that turned on that's a very important setting and i think you need that this setting is very important if you want to have your meds in your right hand side of your loadout it's a very very good setting because it automatically does it for you and you don't need to open your inventory it just does it automatically for you and it's super great and for the building section reset building choice is off turbo building is on i get a lot of comments about this like oh I have to keep clicking to place builds so that means you have turbo building off so turn that on and it'll make your life so much easier it's such a great setting everyone uses it so please make sure you turn that on confirm edit on release I highly recommend that you guys use confirm edit on release because what it does is when you click your edit button and go to edit something all you guys need to do is let go of left click when you're done editing and it does it automatically you don't need to click your edit button anymore you just let go of left click and it's automatically done for you very very good setting and I highly recommend it these are contextual tips so you can just turn these off or on it doesn't really matter and for the extra game options we have invert view turned off invert airborne controls turned on turbo delete and creative mode is on nvidia highlights is turned on peripheral lighting is turned on just the lighting on your keyboard and mouse tap to search or interact i highly recommend you guys turn the setting on because what it does is if let's say for example you have f on your keyboard to open a chest what you guys need to do is press f1 so you can let go of it completely and it will just open the chest for you automatically or another great example of what tap to search or interact is a very good setting is if you're reviving somebody and you want to drop them ammo or meds or anything like that you can do that and it will keep resing if you're in your inventory and everything like that it's a very great setting and i highly recommend you keep that on record replays is on record large team replays is off record creative mode replays is on you can have these all off if you want i just use this for recording videos and stuff so you don't need to have this on if you don't want to it's just personal preference i don't really need to read these settings out to you but here they are just 40 percent hud scale it's very small show spectator count off reticle on obviously all that kind of stuff this right here guys is my updated sensitivity if you guys wanted to know i have 8.7 percent on x and 8.2 percent on y my targeting sensitivity is 31.5 and my scope sensitivity is 39.2 ignore gamepad input off and lock input as mouse off and these two settings here don't really matter these are controller options but we already know we're not doing that just audio settings very basic settings and these right here are my current keybinds. You guys do not need to use these, but if you want to see updated keybinds for beginner keyboard and mouse players, I actually have an entire video dedicated to that. But these keybinds are not the beginner keybinds. But if you guys want, I'll just scroll right through these really quick just so you can see my keybinds if you want to copy them. They're very close together keybinds as well. Since I don't like reaching all over the keyboard either. So yeah, here are my keybinds. Obviously WASD, spacebar equals auto run 
it's always been just the default setting. Crouch, left control. Fire on target, obviously left and right mouse button. My reload button is R. Use is E. Harvesting tool is tab. Weapon slot 1 through 5 is 1 through 5 on the keyboard. Crouch while building is left control. My wall is my back thumb mouse button. My stairs are thumb mouse button 2, which is just a mouse button that's right in front of the back mouse button. My roof is on C. My trap is T. My place building, obviously left mouse button. Repair and upgrade is G, rotate building is R, change building material, right mouse button, building edit is F, crouch while editing is left control, select building edit left, reset building edit, mouse wheel up, and I'm actually utilizing scroll wheel reset in this scenario. So what I do is I change mouse wheel up to my reset building edit and my building edit as a second keybind. So what scroll wheel reset does is it does everything automatically for you. You just scroll wheel up once on your mouse and there you go. It, it just resets all your builds, very simple. And last time I did my settings video, I actually didn't go down here. So I'm gonna go down here and show you my settings. A lot of people wanna know my inventory button is and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. These are my communication settings. I don't need to go over them. Emote is N just because I never changed it and I don't really emote too often. I just click it with my thumb if I want to, but I don't emote so it doesn't really matter. These settings don't matter. Toggle map is M. My inventory button is G. I changed it from X to G just because I felt like it. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. They're both very good keybinds. All these four settings are F and these do not matter because they're just vehicle settings. And if you guys were curious, I'm just going to scroll through these settings really quick. These main settings. I'm not really going to talk about them. I'm just going to go through them. These give me about 170 FPS in game on a 1660 Super. So if you want to copy these settings, if you have that same graphics card, be my guest. It's all good. These are really good settings. I just want to take this little bit of appreciation for you guys for getting me to 2000 subscribers. I literally could not have done it without you guys. And it's such a great thing to see. So thank you guys so much for that. Building this community around tips and tricks has been something that I've absolutely loved for the past couple of months and it's all because of you that I am having such a great time on YouTube every single day. So thank you guys so much for that. I genuinely mean that. 2,000 people strong. That is phenomenal. Hoping to expand the community, help more people. That's the best thing. That is my goal. Just help as many people as possible. That's all I want out of YouTube. If you guys have any video suggestions of tips and tricks that you guys want to see, I would love to hear that in the comments down below. If I use your video suggestion, I will shout you out at the beginning of the video because I greatly appreciate when you help me get video ideas when I am struggling with some. And it also helps me to know exactly what you need help with as a beginner keyboard and mouse player. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you guys in two days for a brand new video. Peace out.